Hello everyone, I am Master Rabbit Man, and I am going to tell you a story. This is my 10 year anniversary of my old nemesis. What should I name her? Ah, uh, Peer. <laughs> okay, to be fair, she's not really a bad person. Well, she was a bad person. But. Um, I'm pretty sure she's doing well right now, so please do not harass anyone from this, but this is just based on my experiences with this person. Uh, <clears throat> okay, this is my experiences on bullying. Okay, so Peer, who is really enough a girl, I'm sorry if your name is Peer, no offense, you are probably not that person because I'm using a fake name. Uh, Peer is an evil, megomaniacal, brat person who tormented me for around, I don't know, seven years. During sixth grade, I went to private school and I would, I, okay, so I'm diagnosed with this um, disorder or I should say different abledness wherein I tend to act differently from other people and because of that I am very sensitive to particular sounds for example ringing loud noises and shocking sounds so this person along with other bullies in my class would clap their hands near my ears ring some coins, whistle near my ear, use their watch to make that beeping, annoying beeping noise near my ear. I don't know why. And when they, when they do it far in distance and I don't hear it, they call me a liar. That's because my explanation at the time, I had sensitive ears. That's not what I meant. I didn't mean that my ears are heightened senses. I meant I have sensitive ears. I have a psychological disorder that has something to do with sounds. And they bullied me for it. The leader of these bullies, or at least in my view, was the girl I liked. <laughs> was that sad? I don't know. Peer, my nemesis, my nemesis, my rival, my arch nemesis rival thing <coughs> sorry that voice hurts my throat but the point is that well peer was a bit of a psychopath she would hit me she would punch me and i would like it oh no this sounds like an abusive relationship but no she didn't like me back but she enjoyed malice over me one oh, here's how psychological it got. Fun fact about elementary students. This is how high psychological elementary students can be in the Philippines. I'm not saying this is true for all, but this is what I've observed. Okay, or I've experienced. She knows I liked her. She knew that, and I teased her for it so that I could retaliate from her bullying. You know what she did? You know what she did? She made me believe she was gonna she was there to hug me so i looked away because i blushed you know who hugged me it was her best friend <laughs> her best friend who didn't even like me hugged me and then they laughed at my face ha 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 you thought it was gonna be peer didn't you and i was like ha ha yeah it was so funny. well of course i cried that night i was very psychologically it's psychological she knew I liked her, and she knew it would hurt if, I, if she did that, and she did it. They're geniuses. That's why I don't like elementary middle schoolers or early high school kids. They're geniuses at this. They're geniuses at ruining your mental stability. Get this. One time, she made, she made me do her... Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this is correct, 
but she she in a way took advantage of my intelligence at the time and when I was completely useless she would tend to throw me away in a sense that she would like ignore me or not talk to me at all okay this sounds abusive but it's not really right I don't know we're not in a relationship so it's fine it's, it's, it's fine it's fine I swear also this person also um what did she do ah yes I forgot wait let me let me remember let me gather my thoughts okay funny thing it's not her fault this one a guy confessed to her right in front of my classroom right in front of my classroom by the door well it wasn't by the door it was right outside my classroom though it was right next to the door and they dated they also kissed in front of me fun fact that was my birthday <laughs> ah, am i making this up well not really these are all my experiences with her for some reason she enjoyed it i remember that that was my ninth grade let's see how old I was? 17th birthday, I think? Or 18th? No, 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 no. I was much younger than that. Oh, that was my 15th birthday, yeah. Yeah, that happened to me. I was 15 and I was traumatized, of course. And that's when I started to become a bully at some point. If you watch my other video, you'll know that I had a bullying phase, which is not nice. So what's the point of this video? We hate beer. I'm kidding. No. Point of this video is that I've experienced a lot with this peer. This evil, malevolent, devil woman. But I really do hope she's doing fine right now. Because I learned later on that she would do something very bad to herself. And it was not a nice thing. I learned that and I realized that when I was older. At the time, I didn't know. And when I learned about that, I started to care for her. Again. I learned that she would cover herself with jacket, with a jacket and sleeves long sleeves that's why she would go to school with long sleeves because she didn't have a perfect life what am i trying to say don't judge a book by its cover i allowed myself to hate her for so long without considering the fact that she would be hurting that wasn't fair the point of this video is that you can't hate everyone without understanding them. I understood her. I understood who she was. And I didn't like how I treated her. Peter, if you're out there, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, dude. For hating you for arrogantly thinking you were just an abusive bastard. You. <laughs> You were hurting. It wasn't fair for me to judge you. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's it. Thank you.